Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another video. I just wanted to give a brief synopsis on people can't block God's favor over your life. They can't. So when he has his hand on you or somebody that you know, or just somebody in general that others might be jealous of, you know, there's a few things that are useless at that point. You know, the rumors are useless. The opinions of them are useless. Even the block button is useless. Like, the Lord is going to make sure that those people who had every negative thing to say witness all of the blessings that he's pouring out on the ones or the one that they're jealous of, you know? And he's going to prepare a table for you in the presence of the enemies. See, like, the audacity of people trying to block those who haven't even done them wrong, it just shows what's really going on in their hearts and guess what they'll still end up seeing or even hearing all of the amazing things that the lord is doing in that person's life so just get ready for some payback at that point you know what i mean every lie every rumor um, opinion scheme plot that they try to throw at you is going to come right back at them like a boomerang right and your life will be the living proof that their lies, plots, schemes, opinions, all that stuff was nothing but just jealousy as the Lord is just continuing to elevate you. So I just wanted to give, you know, a brief synopsis on that. And again, nobody can stop the good things that, you know, come into a person's life because of his favor. It's almost like a um, like a special blessing or kindness that just never runs out. Like his favor is almost like a shield of protection and goodness that nobody could take away, you know, or even like having a hand of help just guiding you every step you take. So when his favor is there, it's like a sign that something good is on the way. So just remember that, you know, nothing and nobody can stand in the way of his favor that's shining on your life or somebody else's life in general. You know what I mean? So. But yeah, I just wanted to give a brief synopsis on that. And I do like to thank you guys for tuning in to yet another video. And then also, too, let me add something as well. I'm not sure if anybody was aware of the, uh, I think it was an earthquake that happened in um, New Jersey. I think it was like 2.6. 2.6, I believe. Um, so anybody that's up that way, just, you know that you guys just be safe out there but it just goes to show like you know even in the bible when it mentions about um strange you know uh weather events happening in places that you never expect you know like unusual weather events it's you know it's it's almost like a sign of the last days you know and these type of occurrences they 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 really serve as a reminder to just pay attention to, you know, the climate, you know, the spiritual climate and just be prepared for the ultimate fulfillment of, of God's plan. So with that in mind, just, you know, stay prayed up, stay safe. Obviously, that's something I always say when I end my videos, but, you know, just stay safe out there because it's um, it's crazy. And it's not even just earthquakes. It's 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 um just strange weather in places and odd places places where you would never think because there was even an earthquake here in florida too at one point i think it was what are we in may now it was either last month early or it was the month before towards the end or something like that but luckily it didn't um luckily it didn't affect anything here you know because i didn't feel it but still that's just that's just strange and odd but at the same time you know if you read revelation it's it's going to reference that you know when it comes to these um you know strange weather patterns and stuff like that and um just got to be prepared you know stay prayed up so but yeah again i'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to another video um please hit the like if you haven't when you first came in um, please hit it on the way out. It'll be greatly appreciated. And as always, continue to stay safe. Emphasis on that. Continue to stay hydrated and monitor your health. 
and continue to be blessed and encouraged. Uh, Y'all take care and have a good one.